And with that, I recognize the all patient Mr. Heisinga. As a matter of fact, for seven and a half minutes. Yes, give my special all my privilege. Time, please. Well, I, I, I appreciate that. I, I do have a one o'clock uh, meeting, but I, my apologies. Earlier today, I was uh, uh, passing a bill through the House Financial Services Committee dealing with Iran sanctions. And um, that, obviously, in light of what has happened with Hamas, is very important. But one of the lessons that we've learned is about the fungibility of money. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I want to kind of pursue. And, and uh, my colleague was asking about that equipment value and, and those kinds of things, that, you know, what was left literally on the battlefield um, uh, for the Taliban uh, to, to pick up. And I, I thought it was interesting. I had one earlier, one of my other colleagues had was kind of pursuing, trying to make the point, I think, that you know, the U.S. government doesn't officially recognize the Taliban as the government of Afghanistan. Uh, that, that might actually be true, but we also do know that uh, we sure do communicate with them. We sure do cooperate with them. And, uh, and certainly, we've been sending them money through various, uh, through various channels. And to think that somehow that's not fungible is... is naive, uh, to, I think, to be generous uh, with that. Um, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Sopko, I, I, I read a little bit about your background. You were a former staffer on the Hill, correct? Almost 25 years. Almost 25 years. Well, I did, yeah. Former staffers unite. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, at some point, sometimes we actually get into, into some interesting positions. But my point is, is you know actually what we're supposed to be doing, right? Which is oversight, which is holding an administration accountable regardless of, of, uh, of who it is. This, this, you know, the, uh, CIGAR was created, if I recall correctly, uh, and signed into law by President Bush. You were appointed by President Obama, correct? You served through the Trump administration and now serving through uh, this administration. And yet, if I recall hearing you earlier, uh, this is probably the least cooperative you have seen the State Department. Is that, is that accurate? I, I, yes, I, I would say that. Okay. Yes, this is the least cooperative at the, uh, uh, the that's State troubling. Department has been. That's troubling. And, and we've seen it on this committee. Um, you know, uh, in, in my other committee work, I, I used to uh, chair uh, the subcommittee that had oversight of the IMF and the World Bank. Um, uh, and, and it just seems outrageous. And you know, former ambassador, Representative Wagner, was, was talking about this. It's outrageous that this committee... And by, uh, by extension, you and, and you and by extension, us are getting stonewalled like that. It's our responsibility to get that information from you and from them. It's your responsibility to get that information. And yet they w refuse to do that. So um, that, I think, is going to be a challenge for us uh, uh, moving forward. I, I've got a very generous of the chair to grant me some additional time and, and, uh, because of this patience. But... Can I ask one very specific question about the equipment that has been has been used? Is there any evidence that any of that equipment has made its way into battlefields or into countries in the Middle East or Ukraine? Uh, that has been uh, uh, there's been allegations of that. Are you aware of any evidence of that being the case? Uh, I'm I'm not aware of any evidence of that, and and you know, we haven't looked at it either. So we haven't. But we've we've seen the press reports, but we have no evidence. Uh, well, I guess that would I've got a request for you. Uh, please take a look at that, and it would be helpful if the State Department would would cooperate on that. Um, uh, certainly, I, I want to touch on the Afghan board, uh, the funds board uh, of trustees. There's four members currently. Is that correct? Four or five? Four. Yes, four. Yes, five. I think five. Five. Okay. I, I saw that there was going to be two that were added. Um, who are these people? What what is what is their background? I mean, we know in the central bank, um, there's uh, there's people. Uh, there's at least three senior Taliban leaders that are currently sanctioned by the UN who sit on their central bank board, uh, including the the director and the and 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 the uh, deputy director. Uh, there are two uh, Afghans that were appointed to the board. There's a Treasury Department official and a Swiss official. I, U, I a U.S. Treasury. There's official. only four four individuals. Okay. Um, one of the uh, Afghan officials is currently, um, I'm trying to think his exact title, 
uh, he uh, he's on the Supreme Council of the uh, Afghan Central Bank. So the question we have about that is is uh, is that a conflict of interest? Uh, and is the Supreme Council, which this is the Supreme Council of the current Afghan bank, so that's a Taliban Afghan Central Bank. Correct. Uh, th that would seem like a conflict to me because if, if I'm reading this correctly, the Afghan fund could be authorized to release these dollars, correct? That's correct. That's okay. what its purpose and, was. And so, and so they're going to go into the, uh, the, the DAB, the central bank, uh, which this person sits on, which we know there are Taliban officials on. So it, it, isn't it seem a little bit of a stretch that State Department's not aware of this or wouldn't be fighting against that? Hey, sir, you know, I, I have a, 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 a problem with the whole concept, which Mr. West and no one has really explained to us. How in God's name are you going to try to recapitalize the central bank, which is controlled by the Taliban, without helping the Taliban. I mean, I, look at it. Maybe I'm just a simple country lawyer from, from the Midwest. I'm from Ohio, okay? Well, but despite I that, just, I like you. What's that? Despite that, I like yeah, you, okay. being from Michigan. Yeah, I know, I know. But I used to work for John Dingle. But I, I just cannot fathom it. And again, I, maybe, maybe I've been doing this job too long. Maybe I've been reading too many audits. But can somebody please explain that to somebody? How the heck are you going to do it? Now, maybe this is, again, a mirage, like I talk about, a facade. We're helping the Afghans, but we're not helping the Afghans. I don't know. That's a policy decision that you all should ask. But, but, but I just do don't that, know how to do that. I agree. But to do that, we need information. You can help us with well, that, but you need information, We're giving correct? you as much information. Yeah, no, no, this not... report should be ready for your perusal in another month, we hope. Oh, I, I, and I appreciate that, and I believe that you are doing everything that you can do, but you have, you have given us j chapter and verse about how you have been stymied uh, with your uh, ability to get that information from State Department and others, and I'm glad to hear USAID is cooperating yes. more. And, I, and Mr. Chairman, I appreciate this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it with this because John Dingle actually uh, was very good to me when I came in in 2010, and he taught me a couple of things. Uh, one of those was he called the, the tyranny of the vote, which it doesn't matter who you're with, what you're doing, or who, what, what, uh, how far away you are. They ring the bells. We have to go. The other thing that he taught me was the value and the importance and the constitutional obligation, frankly, we have. And he certainly did that with, uh, with, with the famous Dinglegrams. Holding an, any and all administrations accountable. This, in my opinion, this administration has been some of the least accountable when it comes to this. And, and I think it, your, your testimony has buttressed that. So I, sir, am going to be pledging to work with you to make sure that this administration gets you the information you need to do your job so we can do our job. And uh, with that, Mr. Chairman, I appreciate uh, your indulgence and I yield back. Well, thank you very much. And we're happy to help you and any other member of this committee on that. With that, the gentleman yields. And